we went out to Sarah Gorda to meet with Steve Dollarhide and learn of his unique Belgian blue cattle. Cross that electric fence and board in that. Did somebody say electric fence? Yes. Yeah. Why yeah. do I do it? Okay, cross the electric fence and then what do I do? Board in it. Do I go oh. suey? What were you saying over there? Yeah, call them up. What do you, anything particular? No. Come on. Woo! Okay. I'll try my, my crooner, right? Feelings. <laughs> Nothing more than feelings. Hey, it's working. It's working. They're coming. Trying to forget my. Okay, this is off. Yes. That's a big thing to have when you have a little <laughs> fence. Hey, who's this guy? We see the white buck, and we don't recognize him, and we don't know if we like his singing yet. Keep talking to him. They'll come on. We're in there. Baby, keep, it's all right. Keep talking. They'll come. Do they ever eat out of your hands, or should I try No, them? I don't try. You might lose a finger, but... Okay, well, don't eat my finger, guys. Zooey! Food. Dinner. Don't forget to tip your waitress. Surf from the right, take from the left, right? Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. So you got to fill that trough too, right? Yeah, I put a little in that for them every morning. Come on. Woo! Shake your bucket or something. Maybe. That I can do. Come on. I'll spare the singing. Come, Come on. on. Well, Come on, Buffy. Over here like we're going to feed you here. Come on up here. Come on. Oh, okay. Well, he's got hacksaw horns. I didn't see him before. Well, they, they, were, kind of they were cut off as a, as a young kid. But Is this an April Fool's joke I want to actually perform? Here, hey, we thought you had food. I asked Steve about the origins of the Belgian so you blues. Like you lower your head or something to get them. This cattle originated in Belgium. There were, there were two strands. There was the milk strand, and then they had the meat strand. And then, this is not the exact history, and we can go online and get it, but the... Uh, the milk side kind of went away as the meat side was more needed. And in Belgium, they don't have a lot of grass, so, I mean, these cattle, they wanted as much meat on one frame as they could possibly get. And so that's, that's the reason for these cattle. They are meat cattle, they're beef cattle, they're to eat, they're healthy, they're lean. Um, it's just good for you. And genetically, what makes the Belgian Blue so more muscular? It's the absence of the myostatin gene which produces fat. Okay. So everything is converted to lean red meat versus producing fat. Ahead. We have a we have a brand new baby calf here in the lot. It's about two days old. I'll keep it up two or three days with its mama and make sure everything's going okay, and then I'll turn it out. But it's a full blood heifer. This is a fairly large calf. It actually weighed 100 pounds, and the cow had it naturally by herself. But she's an awful big cow as well. Do you usually have to help them at all in the birthing? I, I do. I do help them if, if I think they're going to have an issue. I don't mind helping them at all. I'd rather help than be sorry and not help and have a dead calf. So. Yeah. Take, uh, another reason we're in the boots. Let's take a look down here. Okay. Mm. That's not much. <laughs> Jeff, you can come right up in here. She's not going to bother you either. See, that's something that I like about these. Oh, she's pretty. Listen, got a brand new baby calf on her. So she's a little protection. She's not snorting or fighting or nothing. She's not going to. It's okay, baby. Bother you at all. Uh, You're a beautiful mama. What's her? What's the mom's name? Nala. Look how big the feet are. She's a, she's a pretty good sized cow. You know, she's probably going to push 15, 1600 pounds yeah. herself. Pay no attention to uh, the goings on in the, the rear. But you take most cattle, and you couldn't walk in here with most cattle that's got a baby, brand new baby calf, and, and pet them or anything. They'd be wanting to snort and fight. And... Do the dogs serve any purposes besides, I mean, do they help bird or call Absolutely the... not. Okay. Over in Belgium, cesarean is the standard used for the birthing of this cattle. I asked Steve why that isn't such a big deal here in America. As I had said earlier, sometimes these full-blood uh, females, I don't mind helping them have a calf because uh, one thing about the Belgian blue full-blood females is their pelvic area doesn't always measure out as big as a lot of our uh, North American cattle. And so if I see one having a calf and, and she tries for a little while and it's not making a lot of progress, I don't mind helping her because I don't want a dead calf just to have it born naturally. I don't mind giving a little assistance. 
but I have done one C-section uh, with these cattle since I've owned them, and I started that in 2001, and I actually had a heifer calf that was back had, was having a calf backwards, and so I carried her to the vet and we done a C-section, but that's absolutely the only C-section that I've done on this place, and that cow has since, which was in the video earlier over here with the little black baby, she's had four natural calves since that one. Okay, when the, when the genetics first started coming over here from Belgium, uh, what we done in the United States was, this happened in the late 80s, was try to bring some cattle over here that had lower birth weights, which is not optimum for the Belgians because they want bigger birth weights than what we wanted in the United States. So we started bringing over some that had smaller birth weights, uh, tremendous growth, uh, a docile in nature, uh, good feet and legs, because we had some feet and leg problems when they first started coming over, so we chose those that had the, the good genetics is what we wanted here in the United States. And then from that, uh, every, one, every time someone has bred, they tried to increase those traits that we wanted and decrease the traits that come from Belgium. So what we've done is been able to tone these cattle down some as far as muscle mass so that they can have a natural calf and walk and go across the 160 acres versus the 30 acres that they have over in Belgium and be able to walk, be able to go out and breed, be able to grow and produce a, a nice calf that will sell good at the sale barn. And then what I've been able to do here through my artificial insemination uh, projects that I do here is try to pick genetics that I like, which is black in color, good feet and legs, uh, a lot of body length, some muscle mass, but not a tremendous amount, because that, the, the more you get width-wise is where you have your problem in the, in the birthing process. So I have tried to choose those black bulls that are long, have a, have a nice tone of muscle to them, but not extreme, and try to breed those to my cows in order to breed, to breed up. And so for about the past 10 years, that's what I've been doing here. And as you saw today, you've seen some of the calves that I have here. So this is, nearly all of my full blood cattle are artificially inseminated. Steve also explained why black is a dominant color in today's market. In my opinion, the Angus Association has done a tremendous job in marketing over the past 20 or 30 years. And so now everything is associated with black, whether or not it's Angus or not Angus. Kind of like white eggs. To learn more about the Belgian Blue Cattle and to find Steve's website, go to our links page at McCurtainCountyView.com. Speed of .coms for JC, McCurtainCountyView.com, we appreciate you. Thanks again. Thank you. All right. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, Steve was kind enough to give McCurtain County View some post-slaughtered cows. You saw them beforehand, and the whole purpose was, of course, because they're more lean and mean. Now the final result, I like my steaks medium well. Pardon me while I drool. Nothing on this. Not even on the grill. Just fresh off the hot plate, on a stove top, and we're good to go. Excuse me while I dig in some more. This is how Jethro Bodine eats. You know it's good when I start doing this. Here you go ahead.